Yehezkel chapter 45. And when you divide the land by lot into inheritance, offer a contribution to Yah, a set-apart portion of the land, in length 25,000 cubits long, and in width 10,000, this being set apart throughout its border all around. Of this, a square plot is to be for the set-apart place, 500 by 500, with 50 cubits around it for an open space. And from this measure, you are to measure 25,000 cubits long and 10,000 wide. And in it is to be the set-apart place, the most set-apart place. This is to be a set-apart portion of the land belonging to the priests, the attendants of the set-apart place who draw near to serve Yah. And it shall be a place for their houses and set-apart ground for the set-apart place. And 25,000 cubits in length and 10,000 in width is for the lay wheats, the attendants of the house, for them for a possession, 20 rooms. And give the city as possession, 5,000 cubits wide and 25,000 long. Beside the contribution of the set-apart portion, it belongs to all the house of Israel. And the prince is to have a portion on one side and the other of the set-apart contribution and of the possession of the city and bordering on the set-apart contribution and the possession of the city on the west side, westward, and on the east side, eastward, and the length alongside one of the portions from the west border to the east border. Of the land, this is his possession in Israel, and my princes shall no longer oppress my people and they shall give the land to the house of Israel according to their tribes. Thus said the master Yah, Enough, you princes of Israel, put away violence and plundering, and do right ruling and righteousness, and stop your evictions of my people, declares the master Yah. Have right scales, and a right afath, and a right bath. Let the afath and the bath be of the same measure, so that the bath contains one-tenth of a homer, and the afath one-tenth of a homer. Let their measure be according to the homer. And the shekel is twenty geras. Your mina is twenty shekels, twenty-five shekels, fifteen shekels. This is the contribution which you present. You shall give one-sixth of an afath of a homer of wheat, and one-sixth of an afath of a homer of barley. And the law concerning oil, the bath of oil, is one tenth of a bath from a core. A core is a homer or ten baths, for ten baths are a homer. And one lamb from a flock, from two hundred, from the watered pastures of Israel, for grain offerings, and for an ascendant offering, and for peace offerings, to make atonement for them, declares the Master Yah. All the people of the land are to give this contribution to the prince in Israel. And on the prince are the ascendant offerings and the grain offerings and drink offerings at the festival, the new moons, the Sabbaths, and all the appointed times of the house of Israel. He is to prepare the sin offering and the grain offering and the ascendant offering and the peace offerings to make atonement for the house of Israel. Thus said the Master Yah, in the first month, on the first of the new moon, you are to take a young bull, a perfect one, and shall cleanse the set-apart place. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering and put it on the doorposts of the house, on the four corners of the ledge of the slaughter place, and on the posts of the gate of the inner courtyard. And do the same on the seventh of the new moon for anyone who makes a mistake or is foolish. And you shall make atonement for the house. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the new moon, you have the Pesah, a festival of seven days, unleavened bread is eaten. And on that day, the prince shall prepare for himself and for all the people of the land a bull for a sin offering. And during the seven days of the festival, he prepares an ascendant offering to Yah, seven bulls and seven rams, perfect ones, daily for seven days and a male goat daily for a sin offering. And he prepares a grain offering of one afath of each bull and one afath for each ram, together with a hen of oil for each afath. 
In the seventh month, on the fifteenth day of the new moon, at the festival, he prepares like these seven days, as the sin offering, as the ascendant offering, as the grain offering, and as the oil.